Flory Institute will aim to understand how the life of the microorganism and its interaction with the host can lead to a better understanding of human infectious diseases. Where we are now, we've had a bit of an interlude since 1945, since the discovery of penicillin and its development into a treatment by Howard Florey and others. We've kind of had a bit of an easy ride. We've forgotten what it's like to be uh, constantly under threat by infectious diseases. And that's starting to come back. More and more, we're finding infectious diseases, the pathogens that cause them, the bacteria, are becoming resistant to common antibiotics. Central to the Flory Centre is the idea that we bring together microbiologists who work on bacteria um, with people such as myself who try to understand the human immune response to infection. Because actually what one finds is that in some ways what damages people in infectious diseases isn't so much the pathogen itself but the kind of overreaction that the body reacts to that pathogen with. I think we're also very unusual in being able to go all the way from subatomic microscopy to patients all in one university. So the focus of my research is in the bacterium Staph aureus. This is a devastating pathogen that kills tens of thousands of patients per year in the UK and ten hundreds of thousands more worldwide. But essentially, I look at clinical strains and try to identify parts of the genetic makeup of that bacteria that might explain why one person gets a more serious disease than, say, another. If we could find out what these are, we would at least be able to predict, perhaps by taking a small sample, from a host um, who would be predisposed so that we could treat them prior to infection. So in the Flory Institute we want to take a bit of a holistic view of the nature of the interaction between the pathogen and its host and I think that's the particular angle that we're trying to take. We were excited by that vision and we're kind of backing that with resources to support facilities and to support new appointments, to support studentships, to get people into the area, get people excited by the area, all working together on these very important problems. I think the collective expertise which we will really be able to bring to this project is going to be very exciting and I think is going to energise a lot of people working in the field. Our plans for the Flory Institute are that we will have a variety of individuals co-located working together on multidisciplinary projects. These will range from students and postdocs to principal investigators working in teams on individual projects but with an overarching aim to understand the microbiology and clinical challenges of Staphylococcus aureus infections and Streptococcus pneumoniae infections. I hope that one day this research will be clinically translated, possibly by informing future vaccine development or even showing us completely novel approaches to therapeutics with this bacteria because whilst our current treatments are effective, they're not always optimal and I will hope to change that in the future. As a clinician, my ultimate goal has to be to make a difference to patients. And I think a, a huge achievement of this centre would be if we can look back, you know, in 10 years' time, whenever, and say what we discovered, what we developed and took forward into the clinic has actually changed the way that we treat patients with infections. That would truly be a significant achievement. <laughs>